Next, we're going to start diving into individual dashboard pages. First, in the center of the screen, you'll notice that we have a standard Tableau dashboard. This dashboard is still fully interactive, and you're able to interact with it exactly how you would on Tableau server. Your end users can change filters, click marks, and bring up tooltips, just like you would on Tableau server. Because the dashboard still lives on Tableau server, any permissions the user has on Tableau server will also be reflected in this environment. Any row-level security, workbook, or data source permissions will be applied here as well. Across the top of the page, we have the same navigation structure that we had on the home page. We've added a second header to this page, though, with the dashboard's title, category, and some action items. The action items on the right side of the page add functionality from Tableau Server to the portal environment. You'll notice standard features from Tableau Server. We still have full screen, reset, subscription, and even export options in this environment. But because this is a portal environment, and it's very dynamic in what we can do, we've actually added to those options as well. For example, you'll notice that users in this environment have the ability to refresh data at a set interval with the data refresh timer. My users can set this dashboard on a TV on the wall or a projection system and then choose a time period to refresh the data in. They won't have to manually go and press refresh to see the latest data. It just automatically refreshes in the background. Moving right, you'll notice we've added the ability to export to Microsoft PowerPoint as well. This is definitely one of my favorite features and one that I know catches the eye of a lot of customers that we talk to. You can choose filters, parameters, marks, etc., in your dashboard, and then simply click the Create button to grab a snapshot of that dashboard and save it to a PowerPoint file. You can go around the portal environment collecting slides, and then when you're finished, you simply download the presentation, and you have a really good start to a presentation that you, you can go and present to your leadership. You'll also notice that this area has an icon for related content. This gives us a place to suggest other dashboards to users that they might find useful based on the dashboard they're viewing right now. Basically, it shows us which dashboards are similar to the one that we're seeing and we might be interested in. Another option in this area is favoriting. As we talked about in the homepage video, users can favorite dashboards to have them show up first on the homepage. Alternatively, we can set up a menu item that lists the user's favorited dashboards in a navigation menu alongside normal dashboard links. On the right side of the screen, you'll notice a slide out filter menu. This menu allows your end users to set filters and parameters for your dashboards. Instead of having these in the Tableau dashboard itself, you can save a lot of space by moving them outside of the dashboard and into the portal environment. These options are available on a per dashboard basis. And so if some of the filters that you see here don't make sense for your particular dashboard, simply hide them. If you have filters or parameters that span multiple dashboards though, you can actually make these values follow your users around. For example, if I'm the North America geography head, I'm going to set my filter to North America. Wouldn't it make sense that the next dashboard I see should also be set to North America automatically? I shouldn't have to reset that filter. Of course, this is optional, and it's actually set up on a per filter or per parameter basis. You can apply the stickiness to each filter or parameter as you see fit. If you want geography to be sticky, but not year, that's completely possible. Filters and parameters support a variety of options in our portal environment. We have single select, but also multi-select. We have date ranges. We have relative dates. We have freeform text entry for parameters. A lot of different options that you can give to your end users. These options can be populated dynamically from a field in the data, or in the case of parameters, they can come from a set list in Tableau Desktop or you can manually specify these options in the back end of your portal as well. Any of these options can be enabled or disabled as needed in the portal backend UI.
As with anything in the portal, you have full control over what shows up here. As always, if you have any questions on our portal product, fill out the contact us form on portals.innerworks.com and we'll set up a time to talk to you.